welcome to my channel. This video is all about foods that you can feed your dog or your cats for the fall or autumn months and why you should provide these foods for your animals. And not only are animals, but these are foods that I increase in my diet as well during the fall, leading up to winter, and in winter as well. I'll make another video for winter. I know right now, if you're watching this, when I just put this video out, it is in the later half of fall, but it's never too late to start incorporating these foods, especially if the weather hasn't started to cool down yet. I know for me, fall came a little bit later and we had a really warm September and October, but when November came, the temperatures did start to drop and this is maybe the second or so week where we've had cooler temperatures and it's still not as cold as it usually is. So these are foods to start feeding your dog and your cat when the temperatures start to get colder or if you're traveling or moving and maybe taking your animal to a location that has cooler temperatures. When we synchronize ourselves and our animals with the rhythms of nature, with the natural cycles of the seasons, the changes in nature and the changes in our environment, our bodies are more balanced and we feel happier, healthier. We're giving our bodies the support that it needs in the climate or to deal with temperatures. I don't do that well in cold temperatures, but I live in a place that does get cold. And when I started to consider the foods that I'm eating in the colder temperatures, you're really warming yourself up from the inside and we can do that for our animals as well. I noticed my dog Millie, my smaller dog, she doesn't do as well in colder temperatures. So instead of just giving her a jacket or a sweater to wear when we go outside or when it's snowing or when it's raining, I'm going to feed her foods that will warm her up from the inside. My dog Penny, who is a little bit larger, doesn't mind the cold nearly as much. She could spend a lot of time playing outside in the snow, but I still want to give her the foods that are appropriate for these temperatures in this time of year so that she can be her healthiest. This concept of eating with the seasons and changing our diet with temperatures and the changes in nature is a concept from a system of medicine called Ayurveda. I've talked about Ayurveda on this channel. I have a bunch of other videos that talk about Ayurveda, but basically it's a system of medicine that emphasizes balance between body, mind, and spirit through natural remedies, through diet, and other lifestyle practices. It's a really ancient system and it's similar to traditional Chinese medicine and other naturopathic holistic remedies. So in fall, the air is cool and dry. Those are the qualities of our air during the fall seasons. To provide our body and our dogs and our cats their body with what it needs to balance the lighter, drier, cooler environment that comes with fall. We need to make our meals and the meals that we are feeding our animals warmer and add more moisture into their meals as well as more oily foods. So things like fish, fish oils, coconut oil. By adding these qualities to our foods and our animals' foods, we are providing the body with the support that it needs during the cooler, drier months. So as I mentioned, this is a really good time to add oily foods to your dog and your cat's diet. So that means adding fish, sardines, mackerel, coconut oil, eggs. All of those are safe for both the dogs and cats. You can just add it to their regular meals. There are also some vegetables that are safe for your dog that you can add to their meals. So I usually just have their regular meal, the regular food that they're always eating year round, whatever you choose to feed them. And then I'll add the sardines or the oil and these vegetables on top of that. So they're getting extra. So during fall, it's best to feed them squash, pumpkin, Brussels sprouts, eggplant, and sweet potato. These vegetables will support digestion as well as provide nutrients and hydration. Usually, most dogs don't enjoy these vegetables raw. Some do. You can try and see what works for you and your dog, but the best is to usually lightly steam them or really lightly cook them. 
lightly boil them and even maybe creating a puree, mushing it up so it's not like a full piece of vegetable and then mixing it into their food. You can boil these vegetables ahead of time, put them in freezer containers and freeze them to take out, put them in ice cubes to pop in to your dog's meals every day or keep them in containers in the fridge and scoop them out. Just remember that if you're feeding them vegetables that have been frozen, that you let it de-thaw first. Because remember, during these colder months, we want to feed our animals warm foods. During the fall and winter months, I also like to include bone broth in my dog's diet. Bone broth is good for joint health, for gut health, it improves their skin and their coat makes it really soft and shiny. It also helps them stay hydrated. And there are a lot of vitamins, minerals, and amino acids in bone broth. Bone broth is healthy for both dogs and cats, so I like to include bone broth in my cat's food as well. If you are buying beef bone broth from the store, make sure that there's no other added ingredients. So you don't want any salt or any herbs or spices that is often added in broth that you buy from the store. I like to make it myself, but I know that isn't always possible and it's not always the easiest. So when you do buy it, make sure to check the ingredients that there's nothing else added. You especially don't want garlic and onions, which is often commonly added to bone broth. So as I mentioned, when it comes to cats, I like to add bone broth to their meals as well, but they can also have some vegetables. For cats, they can eat squash, which is safe, it's not toxic, and it can be healthy when it's cooked and unseasoned. For all the vegetables that I mentioned, definitely keep them pure without any salt, seasoning, just like the bone broth. Keep it just the one ingredient. But for cats, squash is a good source of fiber and it also has a lot of vitamins. Cats may also enjoy pumpkin. Sometimes with pumpkin, my cats, sometimes they like it and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they'll eat around it and sometimes they'll enjoy it. So it really depends on how they're feeling, their mood, but I like to offer it to them, give them the opportunity to have it if they want it. If you buy pumpkin puree in a jar, make sure that you're not getting the pumpkin pie filling. It can look the same you want to get pure pumpkin. Pumpkin helps with digestion and it can also help with hairballs or constipation in cats. Pumpkin is also really good for dogs for their digestion and constipation. Cats may also enjoy Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Just last night, I actually cooked some Brussels sprouts for myself and I had them on the kitchen counter while I was eating. I had the leftovers still in the pot and my cat Sugar actually jumped up on the counter and ate my Brussels sprouts. Luckily, they didn't have any butter or salt or anything added to them. They were just plain Brussels sprouts, but I was really surprised that she volunteered to eat them and actually wanted to eat them just plain by themselves. So I think that the more you feed your cats these types of things, the more they'll actually crave it, enjoy it, want it. At first, cats are usually pretty picky, but if you just consistently offer it in little bits over time, they'll realize that it's doing their body good. Also, you don't want to take anything out of their diet. Don't stop feeding them the meat and the food, the stuff that is required. These are just things to add on top of it, to give them, provide them the option to have if they want, because it is good for them, but they also need to meet all of their other dietary requirements. Brussels sprouts can be really strong in flavor and most cats actually don't like them. And if your cat eats too many, they can become gassy. Luckily, I haven't noticed that with sugar yet. But with each season, adjusting and modifying my animals, my cats and my dogs, their diet, and mine as well, to balance the weather and the energy and the qualities of that season, supports us and our animals in staying healthy and balanced. Remember, when it comes to adding food to your dog's or your cat's diet, or changing their diet, if you give them a different brand or switch up what you are feeding them, you want to do it slowly. Introduce any new foods gradually and slowly. The first few times, even maybe the first month, they won't eat it. They won't want to touch it. Once they get used to it and notice that it's doing them good and that they enjoy eating it and they feel good after they eat it, they'll start eating it more. You also want to introduce it slowly so that they don't get an upset stomach. And you really need to observe for any allergies or sensitivities because they, these are new foods and you don't know how your animal is going to react to them. 
look for signs of itching, redness, ear infections, or changes in their stool. If you see those signs, then you know that maybe they have an allergy to one of these foods, so stop feeding it to them. This is also why it's important to not all of a sudden just give them a ton of different new foods. Go and buy all the vegetables that I mentioned and the bone broth and just give it every day because you don't know which food is causing the allergy. If you introduce one vegetable at a time, you can know that, okay, it's the pumpkin that caused my dog to be itchy and red. And then you remove the pumpkin and they'll be fine. And again, always avoid seasoning and added extra ingredients. You want the foods to be pure and you never want to feed processed foods. I hope this video gave you some ideas about how you can add to your dog's or your cat's diet. A lot of this information I have learned through a variety of sources and articles. One that I really recommend is the Forever Dog and the Forever Dog Cookbook. I've spoken about that book before. But for now, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I'm willing to do anything to provide my dogs and cats the best life possible, full of love, joy, harmony. I believe my animals are worth it. I remember wanting to provide the best quality of life and becoming overwhelmed with diets, products, training tips, and everything else. Feeling frustrated, helpless, overwhelmed during challenging behaviors to now living a peaceful, trusting partnership with my dogs and cats. I tried to understand what my animals needed, which was impossible without understanding their emotions and energy. I am now using these tools and practices to transform relationships with dogs and cats into ones that are synergetic, where we work together and listen to each other. I honestly believe that dogs and cats are here to help us be better human beings. Are you ready to take your relationship with your animal to the next level? Form a bond built on mutual love, trust, understanding, and respect. Invest in your pet's peace, happiness, and quality of life. Enroll and synergy, heartfelt alliances between witches and their familiars, a guide for witchy dog and cat guardians. Merge with your animal's energy and collaborate to manifest your desires while increasing the well-being of both you and your animal. Pets are more than just animals. They are spiritual beings with unique personalities and energies. Do you love your dog and want to live in harmony with your dog while understanding their needs and emotions? Instead of feeling frustrated or overwhelmed by your dog's behavior, improve your relationship with your dog and help them heal from any physical, mental, or emotional issues. I offer a unique combination of positive reinforcement training methods with energy healing techniques, animal communication, and tarot. Receive a personalized action plan created by a certified dog trainer and animal communicator. This package is perfect for anyone who wants to enhance and enchant their life with their dog. Don't miss this opportunity to get this amazing package. Apply now and get ready to create a magical relationship with your dog.